Hi there, I'm Laurie Thomas with the UK Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the shagbark hickory. Shagbark hickory, Caria ovata, is probably the most distinctive of all the hickories because of its loose plated bark. It has a real shaggy appearance. Other common names include shell bark hickory, scaly bark hickory, shagbark, and upland hickory. Shagbark hickory is a medium to large sized tree that commonly grows 60 to 80 feet in height and up to 20 inches in diameter. On favorable sites, the tree may grow up to 130 feet or more in height and reach up to 4 feet in diameter. It is a slow growing tree that is intermediate in shade tolerance. Shagbark hickory has considerable timber and wildlife value. Shagbark hickory is one of the nine caria or hickory species found in Kentucky. It grows widely throughout the eastern and central United States. In the northern part of its range, shagbark hickory occupies drier upland slopes, and in the southern part of its range, it occupies deep, moist soils of valleys and coves. The leaves of shagbark hickory are deciduous and alternately arranged on the stem. The leaves are pinnately compound, meaning they are made up of several leaflets, and they're between 8 to 14 inches long. Shagbark hickory typically has five, but sometimes seven, ob-ovate leaflets, which means they're broader at the tip than at the base. The margins on the leaflets are serrated, and they are green above and pale below. Fall leaf color is an attractive golden yellow to a golden yellow brown. The bark and the fall color make it an attractive specimen tree for large landscapes. Shagbark hickory is monoecious, meaning a tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are on two to three inch long drooping catkins in the axils of the previous season's leaves. The female flowers are in short spikes in clusters at the end of the branches. The flowers bloom in the spring after the leaves have emerged and are nearly full sized. The flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a nearly round nut. They are about one and a half to two inches in diameter with a thick husk. The husk has four distinct ribs, as you can see in the photo. They are green prior to maturity and turn brown as to black as they ripen, and the fruit ripens in September to October. The husk becomes dry at maturity and splits along the four ribs. The enclosed nut is light brownish white. The shell is relatively thin on this sweet, delicious edible seed inside. Hickory begins seed production around 40 years, years of age and can continue to produce seed up to 200 years. Good seed crops occur at intervals of one to three years with light to no seeds produced during the intervening years. The seeds are dispersed primarily by gravity with some seeds being dispersed longer distances by squirrels and chipmunks. Hickories serve as food for many wildlife species. The nuts are preferred food of squirrels, which begin eating the nuts as they approach maturity in August until the supply is gone. Other mammals enjoy hickory nuts, including chipmunks, black bear, gray and red fox, and rabbits. Several bird species eat hickory nuts as well, including mallards and wood ducks, bobwhite, crow, blue jay, white-breasted nuthatched, red-bellied woodpeckers, and yellow-bellied sapsuckers. The mature bark of shagbark hickory is its most unique feature and is where this tree derives its common name. On young trees, the bark is smooth and gray, but as the tree grows, the bark breaks into long, wide plates that curve away from the trunk. This gives the tree a shaggy appearance, hence its common name, shagbark hickory. The wood of shagbark hickory is tough, heavy, hard, and resilient. The heartwood tends to be light to medium brown with a reddish hue, and the sapwood is a paler yellow. Boards with contrasting heartwood and sapwood create a somewhat rustic appearance that's sometimes marketed as calico hickory. The wood is considered non-durable to perishable regarding heartwood decay. It is somewhat difficult to work, but the wood responds well to steam bending, and it's among the hardest and strongest woods native to the United States. Hickory also has a very high thermal energy content when burned. Hickory wood is used for lumber and flooring, and due to its shock resistance, it's commonly used for tool handles. It's also a popular fuel wood and used to make charcoal producing products. Hickory charcoal is used to impart hickory smoke flavor into food, particularly meat when grilling. 
The nuts are also used to make oils and added to food as the nut addition in treats like hickory nut pie or hickory nut bread. The national champion Shagbark Hickory is in Ann Arndale, Maryland. It is 191 inches in circumference, 104 feet tall, with a 99-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion Shagbark Hickory is located in Bullock County, and it's 124 inches in circumference, 120 feet tall, with an 80-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree Register or check out the Kentucky Champion Trees at the Kentucky Division of Forestry. Now for a few fun facts about Shagbark Hickory. The wood was formerly used to make wheels and spokes for wagons, carriages, and early automobiles. The wood, hickory wood was also one of the most popular woods for baseball bats in the early days of Major League Baseball, but fell out of favor due to its heavy weight, which slows down bat speed. However, you can still purchase bats from the Louisville Slugger made of hickory wood, and they said they are sold for the heavy hitters. Shagbark hickory nuts were once a staple food for some Native American peoples. They would commonly use them to make hickory milk, a nutritious staple of most of their cooking. Kentucky's forests are classified as oak hickory forest type because of the abundance of oaks and hickories. I hope you've enjoyed learning about shagbark hickory and get a chance to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and see the striking shagbark hickory.